Hello everyone. Welcome back to ServiceNow 911. Today's video, I want to show you something. Look at the presentation. Here you see three dots. It means these are the critical incidents. If I click on it, it will redirect me to the incident form. How cool it is, right? We are integrating with Google Maps. This is the power of Google Maps. So the most important thing in this integration is the longitude and the latitude of the location. That's what we have in location table. These are the longitude and latitude. If you don't know about latitude and longitude of your location, don't worry. Just provide other details such as city, pin code, country, etc., etc., and your latitude and longitude will be automatically filled in by ServiceNow because of this business rule get let long okay so to create these pages we need to create map page so let's go to the map pages you here you see under system map page you have the map pages option click on it here you can create n number of pages and design it as per your requirement and before this you have to set up the google map settings so for that just go to google maps here you see under system property, you have Google Maps. So the very important thing here is Google Map key. This is the place where you have to provide the Google Map key. So for non-productions, we can do it without Google Map key just for testing purpose. But if you want to implement this in real time, that is on production, you need a map key. How to get a map key? It is very easy. Just go to this website and you can sign up for it and you have to pay some fee or something, then you will get the Google map key and you have to place it here. Rest all things are self-explanatory, like uh, table used by Google map. Obviously we use CMN location, which version of Google map you want to use. You can assign the version here and then just provide save. Okay, so this is the Google map settings, which you have to provide but we are using it on demo instance. We need not to have any Google map key or anything. Just forget this. So let me show you the very first one which we have designed. That is the critical incident map. So here, okay, this is the critical incident one. Click on it. Okay, so now you have to provide the name. Then we have center map on. It means initially where you want to locate uh, the map. Okay, you have to provide the name of the area or you have to provide the latitude or longitude here. Initial zoom, it means uh, there are n number of zooms, right? You can zoom one, two, three, you can go deeper. So you have to provide at which level of zoom you want your map to be displayed. Then application control size, type of map, various types are available, right? Satellite, normal, terrain. After all these basic settings, we have to look into the script. This is the main thing which we have to configure. So just full screen. I hope it is properly visible to you now. So what I'm doing, it is a basic glide record. You know what is a glide record? If you don't know, check out in my videos. Searching for priority one, all the active incidents, okay? And then we have this statement where we are checking if the incidents location is having latitude and longitude. If yes, then it is coming inside and assigning the values to the map APIs. Yes, we are using map API here. And in that map API, we have a function called add item where we are passing the current incident. Okay, the object of current incident and just placing all the necessary values here. First one is item dot latitude. So where we are giving the GR's latitude, that is incident latitude. Then we have item dot longitude in the same way, the icon, the icon which we want to see on the form. Then we have the width and height of the icon. So this is it. The query is not that much hard. We just need to use that. We have to use this map API and this add item function. Okay. Once we are done with this, click on try it and your critical incident dashboard is in front of you a very beautiful one it is looking exactly as much professional as you want okay so here we have used script but there is another way 
by which we can configure it using advanced configuration. So let me show you one of the item which I have created using this advanced configuration. Go to map pages. Change request in USA. So here I am displaying all the change requested are there in USA country. Click on it. So here advanced configuration is selected and at the bottom you see three related links. So you have to create one by one all these three. OK, first of all, you have to create coordinated definition and then you have to create map data item after finally you have to create map marker. So this is self explanatory. It does not need any specialization. But I have given all this information in a very crisp and proper way in this document which I will share with you. OK. So this is it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed this integration. Thank you so much. See you in next video. Till then subscribe to the channel share it with your friends and colleagues. Bye bye.